All right, what up, y'all, man? Back at it with one of uh, a video, uh, probably the final video of the year. You know, the Wizards of this year, 2021. Happy New Year's, everybody! And uh, before I even get started, shout out to um, Francisco again. Thanks for the comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, I'm sitting here watching the the Cleveland game right now. It's halftime. Cleveland, they playing in DC. Uh, Wizards up 58 51. Now, I got a lot of talk, talking points I want to get to, but I'm gonna try to make this first video real quick before I come back with an end video. So, I'm just gonna, uh, my bad for the shaking though. Let me uh, see if I can stabilize this camera. There you go. Uh, I wanted to, um, I wanted to talk about like in, it in the second half of the video in the game over, I got a lot of you know, just, just notes I took real quick before the game started. But let's see, first half so far, in my opinion, the Wizards look okay. We got uh, Dinwiddie out on health protocol. I'll just I'll just call it a COVID protocol. So you got um you got a uh, what's his name uh, Brad Wanamaker in there for Dinwiddie. Of course, Neto is out. Uh, Montrez is out. Uh, Bertans is out, and he just got a cold or flu or something like that. Uh, Cassius Winston is out. Uh, Holiday's out. Um, I said Neto? Yeah, I said Neto. Um, look, the Wizards are decimated, man. They got people off of waivers. They called up. The dude got tight defense. His name is uh, Shackle. Um, uh, they called him up from the Capital City. Go, go. You know, he playing some good defense. He got some run. They ain't put him back in the game like that, though. That's kind of weird. Um, but, okay. How should I, how, how should I, I already began, but let me just keep going. What should I say about the first half? Bradley Bill, he's back. KCP is back. Bradley Bill is back, and he balling. He's a very aggressive man. He, he going hard in this game, man. Hit a couple threes, um, uh, driving to the basket. Uh, KCP. From the last game, the last video we did, to this video. Come on, KCP. What are you doing? Causing turnovers, no defense. You're, you're not making no shots. Did he even make a shot yet? I mean, he's just running, like I said last game, I think he's just getting his workout on. Maybe he's shook. Maybe he's just his head ain't in the game or something, man. I don't know. KCP need a break. They need to put him back down. They need to put him down to the G League. Like if the NBA did like baseball does. And if you're not performing. And they they send you down to the minors real quick and get you warm back up and then they bring you back up. But um KCP, I think he need to go back to like go down to the Capital City Go Go and and hone his skills, man, and get his head back in the game. Um Surprisingly, Kyle Kisper, he hasn't made any shots yet. But I think it's his shot. Um, how, how, what do you call it? Like when you, you like your shot, how you form your shot. His, you know, because it seems kind of flat. Like um, like he shoots the ball at the peak, but it's like he shoots down on the rim, almost like uh, Bertans does. And Bertans can't hit. He has to stand halfway between the three-point line and have court shot in order to get all net. Uh, Kisper, his shot is so flat. There's no arc on the, on the on the release, and I'm trying to figure out. Hold on, this this lady thinks she's gonna hit a half court shot at halftime. You did it in the school. Uh, she did it in a uh, playground. My bad. Sidebar. She did it in a um, a playground, and it's up. And ooh, she missed. But she got all net at a little at her school. Oh, she's get three tries. For real? I ain't gonna say nothing about that. I ain't gonna say nothing. Because anybody else just get one. She did a little playground with the kids and she made it, but that's a little little elementary school joint. It's an NBA joint. There's more pressure. Come on, let's go. This is your second try. She might make this jump. And it's up. Ooh, short. Uh-oh. 
So anyway, uh, Cal Kuzma, she got one more try, but whatever, man. Cal Kuzma doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? He was aggressive, hit a three. But the only problem I'm having with the Wizards... Hold on, bro. You good? Oh, yeah, you got it. I don't know. Okay, well, let me finish this. So the only problem I have with the Wizards is free throws. Yeah, she was off in the last one. Free throws, man. For the past few games, they ain't been hitting no free throws. Nobody. Um, even Gafford missing free throws. Free throws, man. Why? Did, why what's so hard about shooting a free throw? I don't know. They haven't been hitting free throws all season, really. So that's a real weakness in the Wizards game. Um, and speaking of Gaffer, Gaffer has some amazing blocks, some alley oop dunks because uh, uh, Montrezl Harrell is on protocol, on health and safety protocol. But uh, Gaffer came in, stepped up. Gill came in, and um, he got three fouls early. Um, he got two fouls real early in the first quarter, and then he had his, his third one. But he hasn't been fouled. Uh, he hasn't uh, gotten any fouls since after the third one. Um. They put Cleveland in the bonus like eight minutes left in the second quarter, which was crazy. I didn't even know they, they would foul that many times. Um, Cleveland has two players that's been scoring all their points. Kevin Love and the rookie, uh, Evan Mo Mosley. Evan Mobley. Is it Mosley or Mobley? I think it's Mosley. they the only two prominent, dominant players that Cleveland had, and, and Evan Mosley's a rookie. And they scoring all the points on the Cleveland. We can't stop one of them. That's weird. We can't stop not one. Kevin Love shooting threes, he out of his mind, hitting free throws. Mosley's just dominating everywhere else, and the rest of the players sitting back watching. It's kind of weird to me. Um. So, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do as far as um, stopping those two guys, but I think Cleveland's going to come out and try and muscle the Wizards back into the game and get the lead. KCP just needs to rest for the rest of the game because he's a liability on the court. And But people want to make her. I know they got him off waivers. This is, this is his actual first game tonight. But he should not try to shoot the ball. He got two points off of free throws. He had both his free throws. Every shot he took has been short, banged off the rim, or just some wild shot. And, um, yeah, he could facilitate, but he could handle the ball. But I don't know why Wes Unsell Jr. gave him a green light to shoot. As he ain't shown me that he can he he, he can shoot at, at all because he's, like, over – maybe seven in, in field goals. Um, of course, Kuzma's doing his thing. Bill is is just unbelievable this game so far. Um, Gafford, dude, he, he's stepping it up. He stepped it up a lot. Not a lot of crying from Bill this game. Um, yeah, so it's, what, the starters is Watermaker, Bill, Kuzma, Gafford. I'm missing one. Why don't I make a big, oh, and of course I'm missing one. KCP, my bad. Um, yeah, my bad for this video because I haven't been filming. I don't film every day, so I'm just getting back into filming and stuff like that. If I, I'll get better at it, you know, when I start filming and stuff. But um, I'm just going off of what I see and what I'm watching right here. And they look average at best. Uh, they look a little bit more motivated tonight, but um, tonight, but um. Uh, they don't have all of their core players because everybody's out on COVID. Well, my bad, health and wellness protocol or something. So yeah, and uh, when I come back with the next video, I'm gonna get up on a uh, Hachimura man. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that at all. They got him now listed under health protocols instead of being injured or out or whatever and of course we can't wait to get Thomas Bryant back because he's still injured um I think he's the only real injured player that's out is Thomas Bryant so hopefully we get him back before February so but we'll see but yeah let me end this video this first half kind of a little bit long and I get back to y'all um yeah hopefully they play better man 
We'll see you at, in the second half. All right. Deuces. Yeah, I'm back. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The game is pretty much over. Um, yeah, the Wizards won it. You know what I'm saying? In easy fashion. Let me, hold on, let me try to stabilize the camera again. My bad, so it won't shake so much. All right, yeah, but uh, the Wizards won this game in easy fashion. Uh, fourth quarter, I guess, midway through the fourth quarter, they started playing bench players and stuff like that, which is cool. So, let me get into the game because the first half was so long, I'm going to try to shorten up this side of the, uh, of the video. So, let's go. Uh, you know, they couldn't stop Kevin Love or Evan Mobley in the first half, but they kind of shut down Evan Mobley, the rookie for Cleveland, which was good. So, Wes Unsell Jr., the coach, made some defensive adjustments on this guy. Um, they were still leaving some some people open, like for open shots and stuff like that. Um, the complaining from the Wizards. Bill got hit with a tech. You know, they just complain too much, man. Just play ball, man. That's all, you know, you're already winning, but then you're crying. The refs, are, they're tired of it, man. The refs are tired. You know, the Wizards won this game easily, 110-93. to 93. Um, hold on, Let me readjust. They won 10-93. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, okay, let me, there's some things I want to touch on. So, before the game started, I mean, if you saw the game, you already know. Bill had a spectacular game. Kuzma had a spectacular game. In the second half, KCP hit four three-pointers. And uh, uh, one of the commentators was like, he had a 12-piece no size. You know, that joint was crucial. You know, I think I might have to take that joint from him. But, um, uh, but yeah, he hit four three-pointers in the second half. So he finally got spotted up with wide-open threes. And he finally started actually being motivated enough to play, kept his head in the game. Hopefully somebody talked to him about that. Uh, but KCP, disaster in the first half. Disaster on defense in the second half of the game. But he did hit four threes to help us push ahead. Ogdia came up. Kisper stopped shooting the wild threes, and he started driving the basket. And Kisper started because he missed every three he shot in the first half. But um, he... uh came through in the second half, he had a couple layups, stuff like that. Ogdia, of course, you know, again, double figures, and Ogdia is doing his thing. Um, What's the dude, Watermaker? He signed him off of waivers. Uh, You know, just distribute the ball, don't shoot it. That's what I that's what I can say for him for right now while Dinwiddie is down. Um, Let's see. Let me get, let me get on what I had. Like, as far as the pregame and stuff. So, the pregame, I'm watching the pregame. They warming up. And, and uh, of course, you know, I'm still here in D.C. right now. So, but they warming up. And I'm seeing Rui Hachimura. He's supposed to be on COVID protocol. But he out there in the layup line. He he doing practicing and warming up practicing and stuff like that. And he in the layup line. But you don't play him because he's on health protocol or COVID protocol and he's sitting on the bench ready to play in full uniform he warmed up layup lines throwing alley-oops dunks taking jump shots and he's been doing this all season still not all not no my bad not all season he's been doing it since he's been back from personal stuff Nah, that ain't it, Hashimura. Sorry. You got to play. You got to play. And what else? Well, I got so many notes, man. And uh, we got 12 of the next, oh yeah, 12 of the next 14 games at home. So this will be win number one. We play Chicago on New Year's Day. Of course, I'm watching that game. Um... But we play Chicago on New Year's Day. We got to win the majority of these games. I gave the away game percentage and I actually prediction and I actually came up right. They postponed the, um, the, the Brooklyn Nets joint 
I was about to say New Jersey Nets. That's wild. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets joint, but we went two and five. I said on that road trip, the six game road trip, and I said that we probably only going to win two games. And I thought the Sacramento game was going to be a guaranteed win, even though Sacramento was my second team. Because, you know, like I said, Mitch Richmond, my favorite player. And, you know, they had uh, Olden Polly Neese and all them dudes out there. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I know I know Sacramento, uh, too, you know what I'm saying? The Kings, too, you know what I'm saying? Because I used to ball with them like that. Mitch Rich, my favorite player. So, um, but, yeah, um, so, like I said, everybody's out, all the main players. Um, this game was pretty good. I'm, I'm looking at my notes right now. Let me talk about the commentators real quick. Commentators suck. I'm sorry. We need Drew Good back. They, 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 they uh, this, this game right here, listen to these dudes. Like, my ears was bleeding listening to these guys, man. And I don't know where, I, I know Drew Good probably on vacation. And, and, it's, and I forgot the other dude, his partner. But these guys, man, they, they, especially in this Cleveland game, they, it just wasn't it, man. Just wasn't it. Uh, it was hard to listen to them. Um, let's see. Besides that, they showed a little bit more motivate, a little bit more motivation. This game, this game, they had a, a little bit more motivation than the 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 Heat game, the last game, Miami joint. Um, for some reason, the Wizards started off hot after the preseason. Maybe like 15, 20 games in after they got the number, they, they had they were number one for a few weeks. Well, for not a few weeks, for a few games. I'm gonna say that. But after that, it's like they lost their will to play basketball. They literally look like a team that just was like, I, I'm out here just to get my check. I think that's pretty much all I gotta say. I have a whole bunch of notes, but it's not worth sitting around dwelling on top of it i think the only thing that really concerns me about the wizards right now is it's a couple things the motivation the will to win the will to play not even the will to win the will to play the game free throw shooting and kcp that's about it but um outside of that it was a good win even though both teams were decimated Cleveland, just everybody on COVID. All their guards are gone. And um, uh, Ricky Rubio was out for the season. That's bad. Um, you know, everybody on COVID in the league. So the whole league is going to be shuffling, looking for players to continue to continue the season. So, uh, but outside of that, when we play on New Year's Day, um, hopefully, you know, we come with the same energy. We play Chicago. Again, uh, seen them play Atlanta. The uh, uh, I think it was even last night. I seen them play Atlanta, and they just destroyed. They were destroying Atlanta. I, I, I thought Ice Trader Gang was going to take over. Nah, Zach Levine. Um, uh, I don't even think Ball, Lonzo Ball even played. I know Levine played. I know DeRozan played. Uh, was it, is it, they got Vucevic out there? Or something like that? man. They 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 dismantle Atlanta. So, yeah, this game is really a, a COVID protocol game. They pulled everybody off the out the woodwork. They signed people. They brought up people. And yeah, we, we pulled out a win. So I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next game. I know. Let me give a shout out again to Francisco. Thanks for the comments, man. Appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. And um, shout out to my uh, brother-in-law, Robert Chambers, because we sat down for a minute the other day, talked about the Wizards, man, and how players be complaining, you know, like Bill and Dinwiddie, and just like tonight, Bill complaining, and they teed him up quick. Nobody want to hear all that, man. Just play ball. Every time you score, every time something happens, defense, you throwing your hands up, you talking to the referee instead of running down the court and playing a game. Man, play the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to hear that. Just play. But, yeah, on top of that, all that, uh, outside of all that, man, just KCP, work on your game, buddy. Because I'm putting you... Listen, when I first started out in the preseason, I was going hard on, on, on Kyle Kisper. I'm going hard on KCP, man. Like, K come on, man. Come on. 
four threes in the, in, in the second half, third and fourth quarters tonight, that's cool. You ain't do nothing in the first half. You ain't do nothing versus Miami. Like, come on, man. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. All right, I'm out of here for real this time. All right, deuces.